Uh, this bit's going to be about the struggles and the sacrifices I've made to make sure that I have a good life and a better life. You know, growing up, it was one of the most hardest things. I was bullied. I have been, you know, bashed, raped, drugged. I've had everything done to me. I was told at a young age that I wouldn't even succeed in life. I'd be just a bum. I wouldn't have anything. And it was hard because, you know, growing up when I saw like, you know, others around me having girlfriends and relationships, I was like, oh, when is it my turn? You know, when is it my time, you know? And um, it, it didn't get to me so much to a point where I was like, you know, I didn't give up. I knew that my day would come. You know, relationships, you know, they come and go. It's, it's normal. It's, it's That's how life is. If, if someone doesn't want to be with us, then that's their loss. You know, it's not sometimes anything we've done. It's just they ask for too much. Or sometimes we have to break up with people because they just use us, abuse us, cheat on us, lie to us. We all deserve to be with people that want the same things as we do. So it's like, it's no point if you want marriage and kids and the other person doesn't. It's no point being with that person because you're just, you know, not getting what you fully want in a relationship. You know, like there's a lot of people that just don't want kids, but they'll go for marriage. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you're a girl and you want a guy that wants to have, get married and have kids, then that's the guy. But if you find this guy and you date for a while and then he goes, no, I don't want marriage or kids. Well, you're not getting what you want. For a relationship to work, you know, it helps when both parties work, or at least one works. It's not fair that, you know, the other person's going out while you sit on your ass and do nothing. And if you're in a relationship where you both don't work, then how are you supposed to succeed in life? How are you supposed to get ahead in life? You know, I, at a young age, was like, you know, I don't want to be poor. I want to have nice things. I want to be able to buy myself nice clothes and, you know, buy the entertainment units, buy the, you know, TVs and stuff. And I, is my mobile data still on? It is. Shit. Talking about uh, expenses and stuff. Jeez. I was like, I thought my thing was still on. But I, you know... I've had two and only two great relationships in my life. And I've talked about it a lot on my YouTube and I don't need to go into them. They were my two best relationships I've ever had. And two people that I've actually been in love with. So I've only been in love with two people my whole life. And, you know, the first one, you know, took me when I didn't have a job, didn't have a license and liked me for me. The second one, you know, I was working, but I didn't have a license. That she motivated me to get a license. She motivated me to do better in life. And I have her to thank. My, my uh, fiance of six years, I have her to thank. because She taught me a lot about life and what I needed to do with my life and how I need to improve myself. <clears throat> now, what people don't know is I do have a lot of disabilities. I was born deaf in my right ear. So I've got no hearing whatsoever in my right ear. I only have one kidney. I suffer from borderline personality disorder. I don't have a functioning working bladder. So when everyone gets that sensation, they've got to go. I don't get that. So I self catheterize. Um, where it counts down there, it's uh, I wasn't blessed in that department, sadly. But it's okay. I've accepted it. It's the way God made me. So you know, it's the, what it is. But I made a sacrifice a year ago that I promised I would save myself for the right person so I wouldn't have sex until the right person came into my life. And I've done a really good job of that. For a year and a couple of months, I've not had sex because I wanted to save myself for the right person. I want to be in a relationship before I have sex. And you may think for a guy, how did you do it? It was quite easy. I 
wanted to prove to everyone that, you know, sex doesn't matter to me. Unlike most guys that want a quick route and I'm like, I don't want that shit. I want to be with someone that, you know, it's just like me that will settle down and be with me for me. Not for what I have or what I don't have. Because, unfortunately, people use me. People think, oh, I'll go out with Andre because he can drive me around. Or I'll go out with Andre because I, I, if I don't find a place, at least I'll have one with Andre. You know, people only date me because, you know, it gives them somewhere to live. It gives them someone to drive them around and buy them nice things. And I said to myself, I'm not going to do that anymore. You know, if I get into a relationship, wherever they're living is wherever they're living. Even if it's on the streets, I'm not taking someone in. You know, I if, if it's, you know, even a friend, I'd be like, no. Nah. I'm, I'm not going to do that to myself anymore. I'm not going to be taken advantage of. You know, I've hooked up with pff, at least 15 or 20 girls in a year. Just kissing. And it's, I feel disgusted somewhat in myself because I let myself be too vulnerable and it didn't matter what the person looked like, I'd just hook up with them. And when it came to the sex part, I could have had it three, four times. And the reason why I didn't is because I was like, no, nah, I don't want to. I gave it up because I was like, it was like a chore when I was in a relationship. I felt like I had to do it. I don't want to have sex because it's a chore. I want to have sex because I want to have sex, you know. But, you know, the things we have to make sacrifices in relationships. And we do make some sacrifices. The thing is, I don't do drugs. I don't smoke. And I, and I don't want to be around people that do that. Because to me, that's pathetic. It's not just marijuana. It's the other stuff that it's like, why are we... Waste your life like that. Why would you, you know, spend all that money on that shit? It, it stuffs up your health and it just makes you a worse a person than what you are. I love how people say, oh, you're not my type, you're my, my type. My response to that is, oh, so you like woman bashers. So you like a druggie. So you like people that fucks with your head. Great type you got there. Great type you got there. It's funny because it doesn't matter if I've got the mohawk, as I've got it. It doesn't matter if I've got normal hair. People should love me for me. Not for what I have, not what I could provide. You see, all my female friends, even my current girlfriend, will say to you, she, she lives in America, she's a beautiful lady, beautiful. She will say to you, Andre is one of the nicest guys she's ever met. A lot of my true female friends will say, you're the perfect guy for anyone. You know, I have a job. I have a very good job right now. And I'm so proud that I got myself out of a dark place and got myself a good job. You know, I'm earning good money now. I have an amazing life. I have zero best friends here where I live. I had to make sacrifices. I had to sacrifice getting rid of the wrong sort of people in my life the druggies, the manipulators, the users, the people that weren't, you know, positive. So I got rid of them. I got rid of the people that caused me stress and harm. I even decided, hey, four members of my family I don't give a fuck about anymore. And my parents agree with me and we've disowned them. I've decided to not give a shit about a lot of things. Because it's the same bullshit. You log on to Facebook. The first thing you see is, you know, uh, I, I need money for this. I need money for that. I, you know, And it's funny when people say they need money, but every time they need it for, it's something to do with drugs or smokes or alcohol. They say, oh, but it's for food. But then like 20 minutes later, when they've suckered some person in, you see them on a, a, a live vid and you're like, oh, they're drinking. Oh, wow. Guess what that money did? But you see it so much, and especially when these, the, the thing I hate about relationships is people say, oh, yeah, I'm in a relationship. I have an amazing partner. Well, then how come it says single on your Facebook? 
If you're so happy and proud to have a partner, why are you single on, on your Facebook? Even on my Facebook, I'm in a relationship because I'm proud to be in a relationship. I, you know, she lives in America, but she, she's the best thing that's come into my life in the last year. She treats me with dignity and respect. She says she loves me every night, you know. I have, like, a lot of people say that every night. My, my true friends are like, oh, I love you. I care about you. And that's what means a lot to me. Not someone that pretends to be my friend, that never messages me, and you know who you are. Never makes an effort to see me, you know who you are. And I'm over that. I'm over trying for people to, you know. I said to people, and I made a deal, that if anyone needed help, I'd be there for them for moral support. Even if I had to drive at like one in the morning to, you know, just give someone a hug. You know, that was a person that was on my Facebook a while back. And I can see why she's single. Because she's not ready to grow up and be an adult. And there's a lot of adults out there that are not ready to be an adult. They don't know what life's about. It's not about sitting on your ass and getting a paycheck every week and spending your money on drugs and alcohol and cigarettes and your fancy stuff. Your designer bullshit. It's not about that. It's about investing, putting stuff away to your future so you can have a house at your own, not rent off someone. You know, I, I made sacrifices that shitload of new clothes. I have a shitload of new clothes and they got more coming. New tops, new jumpers, new pants. I just bought a $100 pair of uh, black steel cap boots. Well, pretty fucking nice too. They actually remind me of like the goth girl shoes. Like if you have a look at them, that would go well with a bloody uh, nice black mini skirt and fishnets, those shoes. They're just fucking they're thick, man. I can see like a bunch of goths actually wearing those shoes, to be honest. Um, I've, you know, got so much that I bought myself. They say money doesn't buy happiness. Well, I call bullshit on that. It actually helps. You know, pay bills. Money helps you financially put food on the table and buy nice things. So it does bring you happiness. No, it can't cuddle you at nights. It can't kiss you until you love it, you know. But for me, it's never been about money. You know, I need to keep working. I need to keep striving because I want to get a second house. I want to get a third. I want to get a fourth. The more houses I get, the less I have to work. And, you know, when my house that I own is worth 400000 I feel like in the next few years I'm going to sell it so I can buy two houses and get two incomes from that a week. So it ends up being profitable now if I, if I wait a few more years, sell my house and buy two houses. And then, you know, invest in it. So I've got a good future ahead. But I'm getting to an age where there's no marriage in my future. There's no kids in my future. You know, I've decided that there's no one here decent today where I live. There's just no one. They're all the same. People may think, oh, you're looking in the wrong spots. Well, I'll tell you something. You look on a dating site, for example. Dating sites, you're reading a script. You're reading uh, what you want to read. So someone will put on their profile how amazing they are and all that. But it's all fake. It's all bullshit. And you pay all this money to be on that particular dating site, and for what? You you read what everyone else reads, and it's all lies. So I could make up a profile and say, oh, I have a uni degree, I, I've i been to university, and fucking all this shit, and, you know, people will believe it. And that's not where you want to find someone. Facebook actually is better, because you can see the mutual friends, so you might actually have a mutual friend that you know, you could say, oh, is this person who they say they are, you know what I'm saying? Tinder's just bullshit. I've, I've experimented on that because I did an experiment. So I did paid membership at one stage, and I was like, I still got no no accepts. Oh, the ones that do accept are the fake Asian chicks. So if you're on Tinder and you see an Asian girl, they're not from they're not from where they say they are. Never. So I, I questioned the other night, I think it was 10 of them, and they said that they live in Adelaide. And I was like, how long are you in for Adelaide? For all the same, the same. 
or we're just here for business. Where are you from? Oh, Sydney or Brisbane. It's like, ah, it's a scam. And with Tinder also, you know, girls are very picky with the guys on there, even though they're nothing flash themselves. You could, as a guy, send 100 requests to girls. You may even get one back if you're lucky. And people don't read the profiles. They just look at the picture and go, oh, they're nice. That's why I'll never accept anyone on a relationship on Tinder because they're all fake. See, I know girls that are in relationships. They're only in relationships because if they wasn't, they'd be homeless. If they wasn't, then they'd be lonely. Loneliness affects a lot of people, including myself. I have BPD, so it, it makes it even worse. But I'd rather be lonely than be in a relationship where I know I'm getting used. And know if I stay with a person for six to eight months, I'll lose my house. It's not right, is it? They're entitled to whatever you have, half of it. So just say if, if a woman has a house and the guy lives with that woman for six months to eight months, I think it's eight months or something, he's entitled to half, believe it or not. How fuck's that? It's the whole relationship de facto thing. Like that it's after a certain amount of time, no matter who it is, they're entitled to half. And that's crap. So if I use an example, one of my exes, if she stayed with me, that means she was entitled to half my shit. Fuck off. So one of my exes that cheated on me, lied to me, used, used me and manipulated me was entitled to that half my house. When she's a lazy bitch, that's fucked. That's really messed up. You know, it's the cheaters and the liars that get, uh, you know, rewarded. And it's the people that work hard and successful are the ones that get cheated and lied to and, you know, lose things. That's bullshit. And it's like, it is a fucked up law system, but that's the way it is. But at the moment, the most important thing is, I have a good relationship with my Lord God, Lord Jesus, our Saviour. I'm, I'm happy about that. Pretty much every day, it's just me, my parents, my dog. That's all I talk to, except for my partner that's overseas and a couple of my besties. None from here, because I don't have any besties anymore here. I had to get rid of my bestie of 15 years because <clears throat> she was too much. And she judged me. And I was like, you judge me. You judge me when the people around you and the circle of people you hang out with are all bunch, a bunch of criminals and druggies. I'm 10 times better than all of them combined. But you judge me. You want to be around these nasty, horrible woman bashers, druggies, criminals. <clears throat> and that's what, your life you want to live. But then there's a guy like me that's actually decent. You know? I'm not going to say too much of that subject because I could make another 20 minutes just on that subject alone, on that person alone. <clears throat> At the end of the day, I'm not depressed that I'm single because I do have a relationship. I'm officially in a relationship, technically. I am very happy with the person I'm in. She's 10 years, is she 10 years younger than me? 12 years younger than me. She's a beautiful goth girl. Ab emo goth. She's beautiful. She rubbishes herself because she, 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 you know, is very down on her weight and stuff. And you know what I said to her? It doesn't matter what she weighs. To me, she's the most beautiful person in my life. And I don't judge people by, you know, if they're fat or if they're skinny or, you know, if they've got a massive heart and they're good and their morals are right and they don't do drugs, it's a good person. Like you want to be with someone that you can be proud to bring around to your parents, you know, be proud to show off to your family. A girl that will not leave you for your best friends or your family members or anything like that. A girl that's willing to stay with you 
fight for your love and make it work. There's too many people that in relationships, the moment it gets hard, they just give up and, and walk out. <clears throat> As I once heard someone said, oh, I could leave a relationship at any time. Really? Shows you how much you love that person, doesn't it? If you can just get up and go. <clears throat> you shouldn't be allowed to be in a relationship if you have an attitude like that. I know a lot of relationships where I question, why? Why is that person with that person? You know, the fact that I had to give up a lot just in the last couple of years. Like I said, I gave up sex. I gave up, you know, even poker recently, I stopped. I was doing well. Can't complain. Number one, winning cash. I gave that up recently because I was like, I care about my mental health. You know? it's dragging. I played last night and I was like, I'm not missing anything. It's the same losers that, you know, think that, you know, just by winning one night, it's going to change their week. Well, why not get a job and it can change your life? There's too many people out there that want to sit on their ass and just get uh, the government paying. And then when... The government doesn't give them enough. Oh, the government doesn't give me this much. It's like, <coughs> you're complaining. You're getting given free money to do nothing. And you're complaining and not giving up. Well, why don't you stop spending your money on drugs and cigarettes and marijuana? Ugh. It, it boggles me. And when they do have money, first thing they do, if it's not drugs or alcohol or anything like that, it's the poking machines. It's like, oh my God. Don't dare ask people for money when you're the one that's not, you know, doing the right thing. If you do the right thing and you're still asking for money, I'm sorry, but what are you spending your money on? I mean, it's pretty low when you have to ask strangers and other people for money. And then when you go hock your stuff, you know, for a bit of cash, it's still not enough. You know, you may pay $200 for that watch, but when you go to hock it, they may only pay you 20, 30 bucks. What was the point of buying it in the first place? You're just going to hock it. But I'm in a situation now where I've got a job. I've got a partner. I've got a girl that's interested in me here where I live. There is one. But I'm not holding my breath on that. I would be good for her. I would. But I think she needs to realize that her life before me has corrupted her brain and she needs to be in an environment where there's no drugs, no alcohol, no wrong sort of people. She needs to find a guy like me that is quiet, is affectionate and will make her life better because I can make any girl happy as my partner, I don't worry about that. I've got everything that a girl wants in a relationship, but for a girl here to impress me, it's not about what they wear or what they look like. They need to back it up with their personality. They need to back it up and go be like, hey, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. <clears throat> I have a job, I drive. And then I'll be like, okay, cool. Good start. Because I don't want to be with someone that's a bum. You know, I'm looking at this one person on my screen right now. The last time I was with this person, I'm looking at the photo now. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, she is the type of girl that I do like. But she has BPD like me too. And she's gone through a lot. We did discuss at one point of dating. Like what I said, when she was in a relationship, she said, if I was single, you know, and we had that talk, you know, if we would or wouldn't, you know. The thing about her is, yes, gorgeous, great bod. But I don't know if I could fully trust her. Because she's the sort of girl that's pretty like, 
She does hang out with the wrong sort of crowd and she needs to get away from that environment. <clears throat> she needs a guy like me to, you know, get out of the environment and just live a good life. I mean, at the end of the day, why isn't this working? <laughs> I usually have my star thing on and it's like, I don't know where it's plugged into to be honest. That's why I'm going to get rid of this fucking uh, little adapter thing. I'm going to um, buy like a 7 USB port adapter. It's coming in the mail soon. So I can plug all this shit in. Like, I've got so much plugged in here. Like, even my lights. That's why you see this orange glow. Because the lights go into that little room there. It's just looking at it going... I don't want it connected to the PowerPoint. Because that actually... It's not too bad now. But that warms up. So it's not like plugged into because it's supposed to be plugged into a USB port, but I plugged it into this other thing. But for me to be happy and really be happy in life right now, I need a best friend here. Because currently, zero best friends here. I legit actually have no friends that I see here anymore. I gave it all up. I am actually more alone than anybody that's watching this vid. I don't have kids. I don't have friends. I don't have a best friend. I gave it all up. I don't have a sex life. I gave that up. I don't even hug anymore. I gave it all up. That was a sacrifice I made. You know, when I go into work and I see these amazing, awesome people that I work with, I'm so happy. I at least get to talk to someone. You know, even if it's for that three hours, four hours that I work, at least I get to talk to someone. And they like talking to me. They like sharing a conversation. They like being in my area. Like, the compliments I get for my mohawk, they're like, oh, I love your mohawk. They love the clothes that I wear. Like, they're so amazing. There's this one chick there that I can't lie. She's going to be the most amazing person one day. I see so much potential in her. She's She's got like this massive heart of gold. She has a good personality. She is a really good human being. And I can see her like big things in her future. Like I can, I can look at everybody there, but she's one in particular where she's always saying hello to me, always complimenting me, always actually showing me the respect. And I got, and, and I said to her one night, like, I have not met someone as nice as her in my whole life. She actually is a decent person. And I wish that more people were like her. She's very hardworking. She's well-educated. And she's, she's still, like, she's so young. And, like, there's so much potential for her. You know what I mean? Like, she's going to be, like, I reckon, like, one of the biggest stars of that place one day. Give it four years and she'll probably be running the place, like, I, I see potential in her. Like, there's a few people there that I look at and go, they're just, they're just here to kill time. They're not here to work. They're here just to, you know. But there's a few that I look at and go, fuck. If I, if I ever become manager or anything, the first thing I'd look at, at least there's a few of them, I'd be like, I know that I can tell them to do a job and they'll get it done. <clears throat> there's some really, like... I like everyone at my store. I love every single department. I like, I walk in, I talk to the fruit and veg guys. I talk to, you know, the deli girls. I talk to the checkout people, grocery. And I, I talk to all departments because, you know, when I walk in, I want to be acknowledged. I want to be appreciated. And it's weird because, like, the checkout girls know my name, but I don't know their names. But when the fruit and veg guy, he's like, hey, go on, Andre. I'm like, Hey, going? I don't know his name, so I've got a nickname for him. But you know, like it's it's good that people acknowledge me. Acknowledge me, Roman Reigns, we. You will acknowledge me. Yes, I still watch the wrestling at my age. I watch like fucking four to five different companies a week. So at the end of the day, it's entertainment. You know what I mean? It's entertainment, but <clears throat> I, my life is pretty much. I get up, <coughs> sorry, I got cold right now. I get up, I do some housework, you know, I clean up a bit, have an afternoon nap, go to work, 
come home, have a few drinks, a little bit of the bubbly, a little bit of the bubbly. Actually, it's mostly vodka and orange juice and all that. And I, as you can see, got a nice wallpaper going here. I put some relaxing music on. Usually I've got stars. Um, but at the moment, I have no idea why this fucking star thing is not working. <laughs> But it's time for me to relax. Like I put my relaxing music on. I play a bit of FIFA. I got team of the season, De Lorenzo, the other night. Fuck yeah. I was looking for a good right back for my team. But when I saw the Italian flag and I saw right back, I'm like, yes, because I was going to buy him. He cost like 40000 to buy him the game. And I only like had 30000 So I packed him. I packed... Um, Smalling, the uh, uh, Roma defender, he's another 40k, got him free, got another left back. I got uh, Romanu Lukaku for my forward, that's a great card by the way. So I, at the moment I'm like, I need an Italian goalkeeper for my team, Donnarumma. You can get his cheap card, but it's only 88 rated for about 17, 18,000. But he's like, like team of the week card, which is like 89 rated it's it's like sixty thousand but I'm willing to like save for that. Or I get Chiro Mobile from one of my other strikers. He's about rated eighty seven but yeah, I don't know. I I definitely need an Italian goalkeeper but but yeah what I'll do is I'll probably have a is my ice melted in that drink? I hope not. Um I'll definitely be watching a bit of wrestling in a minute. I'll be um Online shopping, I do that every night. I like this. There's this app called Temu. It's T-E-M-U. Um, you've probably seen the commercials. I highly recommend downloading the app. And there, there's something for everybody on there. If you're a girl and you want cheap skirts, dresses, stockings, fucking costumes and jewelry, it's a good fucking site. The problem with me is... Um, with the male clothing I've got on there. Because when you get clothing, you got to remember the sizes and stuff. So, you know, if it's a Japanese size for a girl, that's small. So it'd be, like, really small on an Australian girl. Like, it might not even fit. Um, for me, when I get clothes, I've, I've gotten a... Um, I've gotten a Joker top. The material feels great on that. I've got a wolf hoodie. I got another white hoodie. So hoodies, three times extra large for me on that side. Because I know it's safe. But if I was a girl and I had to buy anything from that, if you were to buy a medium skirt, like size 10 or something, it'd be a size 10, you know. Just be like aware, you know. And you can get your money back too if it doesn't fit. I don't have any problems with the jumpers and hoodies I got, so I'm fine. It's got some pop vinyl. It's on there, so you, like little figurines if you want your pop vinyls. Um, it's I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm going to say it. If you want any sex toys or vibrators and all that shit, it's on there. I can't believe how cheap that shit is on there. Like literally, there's things for every age group on there. Like it's, <clears throat> I've never seen an app that things are so cheap. So for an example, this hoodie that I got from Big W. 20 bucks on the app if I was to get one similar ten dollars if you were to if you're a woman and you are an office lady and you need a new pair of tights um, you know how expensive they can be in supermarkets and stuff on that site you can get ones for two dollars three dollars four dollars all shapes and sizes so it, it's you're saving a lot of money and you can also get earned discount too and if you use are brave enough to send people the link and they go to that link, you can get one to two to three free gifts. So, you know, there's a lot on there. I got um, a little Cartman necklace. I'll actually show you. Hang on a minute. So I got this um, Cartman necklace. How cool is that? I got that. And this, I think this was only a couple bucks. Have a look at that. It's a t-shirt. The Joker. 
Pretty cool, eh? Couple of bucks, and look what it looked like on me. Material was the best though, seriously. It's like really good. I love that site. It's a site where it's like you can just get anything you want. Um, I would say if you're a girl and you want to get yourself new skirts and dresses and stuff, go to it. Even if you're a big girl, it's got like a category where like if you're a plus size girl, you know, it's got plus size stuff. So if you're a big girl and you need stockings, they've got plus size stockings. If you're a girl that likes mini skirts, plaid mini skirts, it's on there. They got costumes on there even. Oh my god, like some of the costumes on there. I'm like if you were to go if you were to buy a costume these days, you're looking at fifty bucks plus for like you know, if you go to like to a store or something like a whether it's a sex shop or a costume store, very expensive. This app, like you can get uh, cost schoolgirl costume for ten bucks. I think I saw on there, which is outfit. You can get everything. That's it's a great app. My friend, um, you know, she doesn't have a job, but she always wants new clothes, and she's like. Have you seen this app? And I'm like, yeah, I've seen this app. And she's like, it's really good. Like, I get all my clothes from here. I'm like, oh, okay. <clears throat> when I first saw the app, I was like, well, what's it good for me? All right, I saw some pop vinyl figures. I'm like, cool. Skull tops, cool. Hoodies, cool. I'm like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, this is something that I could love getting. And I'm looking forward to my USB Time 7 charger. So, like, you... I've got this thing on my bed where it's got two ports, like you plug anything into it. So it's from a bed head and you plug it in, it's only got two ports. But if I plug that seven one in to that, I can have seven things and you can turn which one you want on and off. So I think I would use it for my Bluetooth speaker there, my Galaxy Light thing, uh, my lights here. Actually, that would actually probably can't. Because I'd have to move those lights. Oh, actually, okay, I could move the lights to that one, the four-board one, and plug all the other stuff in. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I can't keep talking because I'm not well at the moment. I've actually got this cold. I've had it for like two weeks. I'm trying not to cough. So, But as I've said, I've sacrificed a lot in my life to where I am right now. But I'm going to end this vid not on a polite thing. I'm going to look some of you dead in the fucking eye. And let me talk to some of you pricks out there. You want to judge me. You want to hurt me. Fuck you. I'm sick of your shit. I'm sick of you ruining my life. And I'm sick of you trying to interfere in my life. If you've dated me, get over it. All right? Leave me the fuck alone. I don't want anything to do with you. If you're not in my life, then stay out of my life. Don't stalk me on Facebook. Don't ask others how I'm doing. Do not watch my YouTube vids. What, could you think I'm going to bring you up in a vid? I know a few of you that watch this. And you watch every single one of my vids to see if I can fuck up and say something I should. You, you think that you can manipulate me or scare me or worry me? I always win one way or another. You don't think I can manipulate you too? You don't think I know when I'm being played or used? Karma's a bitch. And I'm engaged to that bitch. Trust me. There's nothing you can do to hurt me. My life was destroyed three years ago. And that was my fault. But I've become this new and improved person. I'm successful. I'm happy. Yes, I, I can't help my BPD. I cannot help the things that are happening in my life right now. I'll believe me, one particular subject, and I know this person's watching. If I could change that, I would. Like I said at the end of the day, I know what a real relationship is. And if you think for one second that you're in one, you're only fooling yourself. You're only fooling yourself. Because at the end of the day, 
A relationship's based on trust. It's about commitment. It's about, you know, being loyal to each other. Being together for the right reasons. Not for revenge. Not for somewhere to live. Not to use someone just because they've got money. A relationship's built on a foundation. And if you don't have a strong foundation to start with, it's never going to work. Cracks will appear. The moment things get hard, you walk out and go to the next person. I'm very happy with the person I'm dating right now. She may not be physically here, but at least she shows me the love and respect. And so do some of my friends that always say every day and every night how much they love and appreciate me. And that's all I need in my life. I don't need fake friends here. I'm so glad I don't have besties here because I don't have to worry about them. You know, they know I'm here at the end of the day. They know that when they need me, I'm here. But I'm moving forward with my life. I'm not letting life hold me back just because I've been cheated on, used and abused all my life. I don't care anymore. There may be a decent person out there, but currently right now, <clears throat> apart from the beautiful person I'm dating, there's no one here in Adelaide here for me. And until someone shows me that, that they want me for me and they don't want me for the other things, then I'm happily going to stay single. I'm happily going to stay, you know, without sex. I'll give it up for the rest of my life if I have to. Because at the end of the day, there's three things what they say when you get married. For richer, for poorer. For sickness and health. And death to us part. Isn't it that true? For richer, for poorer. It shouldn't matter what they have. For sickness and health. When someone gets sick, your partner gets sick, you stand by them. And you tell them every day how beautiful and how much you love them. Death to us part. Which means don't give up when things get hard. Arguments happen in relationships. Fights happen in relationships. But if there's love, if there's true love, then there's always a chance. There's always a chance. Thank you all for watching. Check the four corners of your screen. Random things. I don't know what's going to pop up. But yeah, goodbye. Mwah. And good night. And I'll see you soon.